Paremne, this is Fatou Tutunjan coming to you from Tushba Winery. I don't know if you guys can see behind me, we have a clearish view of Mount Ararat. This is such a beautiful day. It's only 40 minute drive from Yerevan center. So super excited to start this day with some winery. Um, we're gonna hear all about the story. We're here with Datev. I'm gonna mic her up. And as per your request, we got a microphone for better quality. Also guys, it's gonna be the first time we test out a drone here today so stay tuned hopefully it won't be embarrassing hey hi my name is Tatev I'm working for a Tushpa with Tushpa Company. Um, uh, I would love to tell you the story of Tushpa today. <laughs> um, we love to say that our story, the story of Tushpa and Manasarian family, starts from the other side of the mountain because uh, Mr. Manasarian and his family are from Van, from Western Armenia and uh, they were doing wine there. Mr. Manasarian is uh, the fourth generation of winemakers so after the genocide they, they left all their vineyards and the house there houses there and they were came here into Tapelakan village and settled here. So uh, his dream was to revive his ancestors' work, the traditions, Armenian winemaking traditions, and uh, to make his own wine here on the other side of the mountain, mountain in Taperiakan village. And as you see, uh, he made his dream come true. But the, the story and the way was not so easy. During Soviet Union times, he was for, for over 30 years, he was working as a winemaker in other wineries doing wine and as you know during Soviet time, Soviet era, Armenia was considered to, to be a cognac making country and Georgia winemaking country so we kind of lost the tradition of doing wine, of our winemaking traditions and he was keeping all the time in his mind to revive his ancestors traditions and to do a good Armenian wine. So after uh, Soviet Union has collapsed, uh, he built. He started to build his winery. In 1992, in 1992, he planted his first first vineyards here in Daperakan. And we can say that our average, the uh, average age of our vines, is between 15 to 30 years. And basically, we are working with uh, three type of. Uh, grape varieties, Armenian native grape varieties, Hachtanak, uh, we, we can translate as uh, Victory, Gangun and Muscat. And so we'll go later to taste our wine. Yes, Mihran Manasirian. Ara Chertina se Marmat Nero, Ari Mesian Hayastanis. Ara Sari Hagara Goimis Karela said, Vani Sink. Mir Papa Kantaner, Misha Vaisur, and Tech Papa Ungman. Kant. But it's upper men, Mecha Kerner. Masna Yusam Gine Gorzem, Mashatelem, Sovetagan Tarinerin, Yev Sovetagan Missioni for Kluzvets, Menk, Stertsetzink, him netzink mer, and Tanekan business, Yev Karusetzink, Ice Gorzaran, Pokre Gorzaran, Vets, and Arauricham Chapov, Lave Podcast. Padras to Menk Tushpagini, Padras to Menk Army, Yev Spitak Gininer. And Tani Koveng, Karmi Gininer Yes and Patrastum, Spita Giminere Tagasse Patrastum. Ginisel Mes Karelia Sel, Kokits, Horotner et Alis, Jonathan in Kamasna Yitam Ginegorchi, but Hamtesner Yev Karevor Ganata Canere, Irenitank, Karzik Hartsman. No ice cannon. We are now uh, at 800 meters above sea level in Ararat Valley, and you see we have just uh, finished our harvest and our vines are having their rest and preparing for a long, long winter. You 
opportunity they're living their autumn here so our um, soils are basically uh, clay based soils and it's a perfect um, terroir for Hachtanak and uh, basically Hachtanak is cultivated in Ararat Valley so we are trying to express in Dushba wines the terroir wines uh, to express the whole full um, aromas and bouquet of Ararat Valley the whole expression of Ararat Valley and in one bottle of Dushba after Soviet Union, um, all the uh, wine growers were, uh, were trying to remove and um, replace their vineyards and Manaz uh, Mr. Manazarian uh, were, was trying to convince them not to do and promise them he, that he will buy all their grapes. So um, his aim was to try to achieve the best that Hachtanak can give and to produce the best wines from Hachtanak grape because people were not believing in this grape, in this variety. And um, Mr. Manasaran did his best to prove the opposite. This is our natural well that was digged to um, take water from it. And from inside, I will show you how deep it is. And it's working one. Well. You can see water inside. <laughs> yeah. Let's go inside. Humidification processes and the style our one week and uh, the winemaker's philosophy. All our red wines are natural wines. That means we're uh, trying to do minimal intervention in the vinification processes, starting from the vineyards uh, till the bottling moment. Uh, what we do is to provide the uh, conditions that the grape can uh, express it itself and uh, do the minimal intervention in the vinification. The only things, we, the, the only thing we do is to do the temperature control during the fermentation process and uh, we don't add any yeasts. The fermentation starts spontaneously uh, based on the natural yeast that comes from the grape. So after the fermentation process uh, we do aging even for the classic line. We do seven months aging in Armenian oak barrels from uh, Artsakh. Uh, we use only Armenian oak barrels and uh, the classic line is uh, aged for seven months and the reserve wine for 14 months. And um, you see all these barrels are from uh, oak from Artsakh and the garasis are not new ones. Um, these garasis um, have age over an um, average age of 80 to 100 years. The, the, we went to the villages, around villages to take these garasis because they were not used at all. And after the, our neighbors also giving as a gift these garasis to us, and all the other garasis that you see uh, close to the entrance are full with wine. Um, we are using garasis for aging wine, not for the fermentation. And we're still experimenting. Maybe next year we'll have some wines from Palace as well. The um, cognac here and all, all the cognac is exported we are not selling here in local market but um, our first vintage was in, in 2018 and these are some old vintages all the bottles are full with wine for our ancestors we are doing all the vinification processes in this garasis the garas um, used to be buried in the soil to this part so um, and inside the Garas, uh, it was uh, a vexed uh, with a natural vax, yeah, to uh, prevent the biological spoilage. So the fermentation and the aging process uh, were carried out in this caras. Now we are doing only aging here, kind of trying to revive the uh, traditional winemaking method, also experimenting, and only if our winemaker will say that it's ready to go to the market, we'll bottle it. Oh, yeah. It has really thick, yeah, and thick skin. Mm. And that's, uh, the skin is responsible for the tannic and the structure of the wine. Yeah. Now this building, uh, it's made by Mr. Manasarian himself. The, the, the memories that he had from Ban, the kind of the architecture, 
and the, the stones that were used there, because we know that Fan is famous for its rocks, and um, kind of tried to do something very similar to, to create his little van here on the other side of the mountain. Labor uh, did for us um, famous painter Gamo Nigarian. Uh, you can see a woman who is doing a vinification process, putting grape into garas. And then, uh, son of Mr. Monasarian, Carlen, um, changed uh, changed it a little bit, and we have such kind of minimalistic, very nice label. All the vegetables, lavash, cheese, everything, even the olives are made in Armenia, basically from Ararat Valley. This one, this is 2018, the vintage, is red wine, 100% Hartanak. It's natural wine, spontaneous fermentation uh, with natural yeasts, and then um, aged for seven months in, the Ar in Armenian oak barrels. You can see the deep color of Hartanak. You remember we have tested the grape, mm -hmm. we have tested the grape, so the color and the tannic structure comes from the skin. Some tourists mix this variety with Cabernet, they smell, oh this, this, this is Cabernet, they say, <laughs> it, it had these peppery aromas that is mm -hmm. typical mm -hmm. for Cabernet. Yeah, that's like, we, um, in the wine we have uh, three kind of aromas. Primary aromas that is coming from the grape, secondary aromas that are coming from the vinification processes, and the tertiary aromas that are coming from the oak barrel mm -hmm. or uh, whatever the vessel you're aging. It can be the, the karas or the oak. So that, that are the tertiary aromas. So here we have uh, the primary aromas that is uh, currant, blackberries, mm -hmm. um, it is really typical uh, to Hartanak. And we have to see the color. We basically use this white uh, font to see if it's clear. We don't have any haziness here. The color is bright to, to describe the, the color. Then we taste, uh, we smell, we say the nose of the wine. We can <laughs> feel here already the oak and the primary mm -hmm. aromas. And then we taste it. Guys, I don't know if you've ever had walnut jam. I'm holding it in my hand. This is very very it's a delicacy i can say and also i love it so i'm gonna show you what it's like the raw walnut that then gets turned into a jam whoa mm. i don't think the focusing worked maybe the camera also drank some wine okay bye We're going to try Tushpa Red Reserve 2015 vintage. Um, I would love to decant it first because we have 14 months of uh, Armenian oak barrel aging. And we will aerate it a little bit, then we'll try. To open the bouquet of aromas of the wine because it was aged and it was kind of uh, closed and now we are aerating to open to open and to um, smell 
the whole aromatic bouquet of this wine. We'll keep it for 20 minutes, 30 minutes here. And then we'll see the difference. To try the canting, you should pour a little bit in your glass, try the wine, and then uh, wait a little bit, then try again. You will see the difference. Oh. Yeah, try this technique. <laughs> so uh, let's make our, our wine uh, different from the others. First of all, it's the terroir. Terroir is a French word meaning the soil, the climate, the sun, the water, the vinification techniques we are using. So uh, our terroir, terroir is really unique because of the sunny days during the year, because of our soil, because of our cli climate and uh, second are varieties we have a lot of um, endemic varieties up to 600 if i'm not mistaken mm -hmm. yeah and um, we have to work a lot on it to show to the world the endemic and the unique varieties that we have and the third part is the wine, wine making and vinification techniques we have the tradition of using carasis and I'm traveling a lot and I see now the, the old world and the new world, they are using a lot the amphora style of wines. They are coming back to our ancestor style of wine makings. They are using a lot of amphoras in Spain, in Italy, in Argentina. They are trying to use the amphoras to make new unique wines because the world is bored of this French mm -hmm. uh, all the time. Um, Convoke, repeating. Re repeating wines and um, I think our terroir is unique and our wine making technique is unique we should combine these European and new modern technologies but don't forget our traditions and our traditional wine making processes to combine and to show to the world so um, the same Cabernet or the same Merlot and the, uh, the same Syrah if you would plant here in Armenia you will have totally different wine because it's the terroir, mm -hmm. terroir is, uh, is different. And if you add to this different and unique terroir, even the, the more unique and different varieties, Armenian endemic varieties, you will feel, you will see the unique, the most unique wine that is presentable and very uh, interesting to the world. So Tushpa um, was the capital, uh, very strong and very developed capital of uh, Urartu kingdom. It's the same territory of one, the eastern part of one, I guess. And uh, the ancestors of Mr. Manasarian are from Van, and he used this old name of Van Tushba. So it's part of our history, a part of our story. Uh, um, that reminds me a story. You see there, we have kind of a painting hanging there. In um, 2016, the Pope of Rome, was here and he was doing a ceremony in Horvirab and from government all the wineries not all but mm, main uh, companies wine making companies were asked to send wines and we sent this wine the reserve wine and that's all and after two or three months we got a parcel from Italy from Pop <laughs> wow. that was his blessing with his stamp and with his signature that uh, he uh, wished us uh, prosperity and that he likes our wine a lot. And <laughs> we are the only one winery, not only in Armenia, but I guess in the region that have this blessing from pop. Deep pom pomegranate color. <coughs> yeah, we are exporting our wines to Europe, to US, to Russia, in a lot of European countries, you can find Tushpa wines. And in Armenia, um, we were presented only in the boutique wine shops, in, in Vino, the Gant wine shop, uh, but now also we're presenting uh, in a lot of restaurants, but now we are also presented in uh, some supermarkets, Parma supermarket, yeah, Yerevan city supermarket. So we're trying to enter and to be reachable for Armenians to try to see what Armenian wines are uh, existing in Armenian market. Um, and the price range uh, is really important for us also. We want to be affordable for Armenians. 
-hmm. We want our palate to taste our wines, Armenians. For, so for this, we're kind of in the middle range uh, that is affordable for Armenians. Guys, I know we're at a winery, but they also gave us some of the historical Arnak brandy. Um, that's why I came to the brandy barrels room to show you this. I tasted it. It's so smooth and really, really delicious. So it's called Arnak. Genet. So um, I would present also my own wine salts and peppers. All these uh, salts are processed with Armenian wine. These two with Areni and this one with Kangun. And then aged in Armenian oak barrel and then some spices are added. For example, this one I wanted to give to smell and try. This one is with Armenian Rehan and basil. Whoa, this is it's more than a salt it's like spices and yeah it's i say la a lazy salt for mm -hmm. a housewife that um, don't have enough time to mix some herbs and spices but it suits for every dish that contains tomatoes tomatoes like perfectly paired one of the basil right yeah and i use um, glass bottles because um, it's wine inside and we know that um, wine doesn't like plastic and the top is a grinder so you can grind to use it like normally in your everyday dishes this one is um, salt sea salt uh, processed with uh, gangun wine and then mixed with chimichurri chimichurri is an argentinian mix herb mix but it's the um, um, that contains it contains some herbs that are perfectly growing in Armenia so the mm, point is just to make the right combination of the herbs Ooh. it has some garlic some spices and it perfectly pairs with um, lamb mm -hmm. Armenia. and I have also f some spices peppers also processed with wine and with chili, mixed with chili. And um, my idea is to pour a little bit Armenian poetry and tastes and aromas into your everyday life, your everyday food. And some people say that we are very poor about um, regarding our spices that we're using. I want to prove that it's not right. So we have Armenian spices and salts and we can use it and make our tasty dishes even more tastier <laughs> um, we're selling in in vino in uh, wine shops uh, professional wine shops also now it's available in such supermarkets and in parma
Guys, this was one of the best wineries I've been to. Please come here. I'll put all their information in the description. Click those links. Connect with Datevik, a very talented woman. A woman with many talents, or however it's said. Um, we got some uh, wines and brandies and salts in our hands. And we're about to head back. But I don't think the drinking of Tushpa will stop there. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, subscribe, drink some wine. And I love you guys so much. Bye, Chignar. Bye.